Hello everyone. My name is Bmon ninety eight, aka Benjamin, aka DJ Benjamin, aka Benji, aka whatever you want to call me. Oh, it feels so good to be recording stuff again. I literally just got done presenting my final school projects today, and I'm taking the SAT tomorrow. And I I just want to take a break to relax and and play a video game again. Anyway, I'm playing Tac Two: The Staff of Dreams, the sequel to Tac and the Power of Juju, which I played last summer. It was one of my favorite GameCube games. A sequel I never played as a kid, but I still think is a pretty good game. I don't think it's better than the original, but that's just my unpopular opinion, apparently. But, uh, yeah, I, I'm i going to try my best 100% this game. I don't think I'll be able to. Well, it's not the same type of game as the first one. It's It's more linear as opposed to open world. So there's not really the same way of 100%ing it. It's more so of these other things that we'll get into. But I'm going to do my best, and I might show off some of the extras later on. But yeah, we're going to just start off the game right now, because I'm just excited to be playing the game again. Just any video game in general will do. I just need this right now. This is my therapy from all the work I've been doing. This is Tac 2, The Staff of Dreams. And, <laughs> never mind. Okay. Wake up, Tech. Wake up. You've been asleep too long. Come on out. Snap out of it. Hey, hey, I spy Tech. I'm at my wit's end. Oh, creepy. His eyebrows are funny still, too. So, the great and mighty warrior of the Poopanoo people is taking the world's longest nap. <laughs> great, great. <sighs> I need helpful ideas, Box. How about waking Tack up? Hey, you! Are you wacky? Good morning, sunshine. Hi, sunshine. You open up those eyes of yours, sleepy head. Stop it, Doc. I've already tried that. Okay. You grab them. Look, I can see. I can see he's turning blue. So yeah, that's our intro. Uh, Jabulba and Locker still at it, and uh, yeah, first level, Tax Dream. This is the dream world. We've been here many times before in your dreams, but this time, you have been called here for a purpose. Several days travel from here, visit the beautiful princess, who has been cruelly imprisoned within a dark and terrifying castle. She is held captive by one of the most vicious beasts of the dream world, Ulgar, who wields the world-destroying power of the staff Princess has no hope of rescue from anyone, except for you, Tak. And if you should save her from her plight, happiness will be restored to her kingdom, and the powers of darkness will be forever diminished. What say you, great and mighty warrior of the Pupununu people? Will you bring your wits, your strength, and your courage to bear on this sacred mission? 
Nah, don't think so. Uh, no, 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 wait. Hello? You're not supposed to do that. Get back here. Maybe you don't understand, Tack. Let me run through it again. <clears throat> Several days travel from here. Beautiful princess who has been cruelly imprisoned within a dark and I heard you, but the princess thing? Come on, that's the other corner of the book. People always say that kind of stuff in dreams. What's the point? I'm probably gonna wake up any minute. No, Tack. If you do not accept this check, you will never wake up again. Oh, oh, okay. Well then, I'll do it. Cool. I promise you, in the fulfillment of this quest, you will learn something new about yourself, Tack. Something new about myself, huh? Okay, fine. Where's this princess? Not so fast, Tack. You will need training before you can complete this quest. If the dream world is new to you, it has many dangers. Right, now then, pay attention. Using my master's command, Cadmus, I can raise up harmless training figures from the dream world landscape. You can recognize them by their blobby shape. Let's just call them Blobbies, shall we? Okay, so I finally get to talk again. Um, so yeah, lots and lots of exposition on us. Um, basic controls are pretty similar to the first game. You can see Tack is a little taller. He has his cape now, and he's a lot more seasoned, given that it's been about a year since the first game, to my knowledge. Um, and yeah, the dream world. I just want to say far off that I really like the dream world music. It's kind of catchy. But yeah, you can press B to attack. You got this new weapon thing. It's called the Thwok, I believe. <laughs> uh, it's just a stick from the looks of it. But, you know, we start off with a club in the first game. It's a little more sophisticated, I guess. And that you can kind of see this, like, that sharp edge to it. Press the a button to jump across this gap. And, uh, yeah, this guy right here, the Dream Juju, he's called. He, he talks a lot, but, eh, whatever. Yeah, so we can double jump, like in the first game. And these right here. Yeah, thanks for explaining. And you can also hit this thing right here. We picked up something like this earlier, but in Tac 2, something new that they add is this. Items like these that you can collect. We'll get into what these do later on in the next part, I believe. And yeah, you also have a lot more combat abilities in this game. That's something I like a little bit more about this one than the first one. The combat's better. You can do a lot more abilities, and we'll get into them in the later parts. But the combat in this game is significantly improved on from the first game. That's something I do really like. And yeah, the camera is the same. Uh, the mana system, even though these things are called mana spheres, it doesn't work like it does in the same in the first game. There, there's not a whole, really, any mana that you can use like in the first game, so don't worry about that. It's just health to my, and something that we'll get into a little later on. You can climb by double jumping, then holding down the A button. And there's another new feature in this game that I, I don't understand how it works. You can glide by just, like, making a pose in the air. And for some reason, it caused him to just go slower. <laughs> it makes no sense, but whatever. Um, but yeah, you kind of notice that the things are collecting their bugs, their crystals, and fruit. These are these new collectibles, but um, we also have this new ability called the throw, where you throw whatever, and yeah, it does damage. Um, yeah, it's, sorry about that, I just need to plug my computer in because it's running out of battery. Sorry to disrupt the flow. There we go. Anyway, uh, continuing on. Yeah, more of our glide. So yeah. Now I just gotta destroy all the blobbies, and they, they do stuff. We'll get into a little more combat abilities later on, but there's new combos you can do by, by chaining it with other buttons. 
as you saw there, BY can do this up smash, BX will do like a spin attack, you can jump to do this spinny attack, you can double jump and then do a kick like attack. And uh, that right there was not combat. I... Sorry, just got a text from my friend. I really need to shut my phone off during recordings because it's unprofessional. But yeah, um, it, he, he just asked me how does it feel to be a free man because I just finished my projects today. It feels good, Carlos, just so you know. So you get your answer live on, on my Let's Play show. There's your answer. But uh, yeah, throws are kind of an interesting addition. They don't really do damage in combat, they're more for stunning purposes. So when we actually get into some real fights, as opposed to just using these, them on training dummies. But I will say, they're they're an interesting idea. It's an interesting idea, and I do think it's a nice welcome addition to tax arsenal of moves. The kick is not particularly helpful. As you kind of just saw there, it got me killed on level 1. What am I? Four? <laughs> Shout out to you if you get the reference. Uh, but, you know, it, it's an... It's all right. In other moments. Yeah. Something I do kind of like about the Dream World also is the gooey surface. Like when Tack jumps, like just listen to the sound effect he makes when he lands. I don't know what it is. It's just I just like that sound effect. Summoned a pit fiend to try and stop you. The pit fiend has swallowed the rift and your only escape from the dream world. You can defeat it by destroying its tentacles. Uh, yeah, so this thing right here is a pit fiend. He has summoned some lonely pimps to try and stop you from continuing. And, and then there's these guys, um, imps, or I honestly don't know the pr proper pronunciation of these guys. It's, they're basically Nurbles from the first game. There's not, I mean, the dream, there are dream world and real world enemies that are different, but yeah, those guys are basically just Nurbles. But uh, the Pit Fiend requires you to defeat it like this by attacking individual tentacles. And uh, yeah, you can also use your throw ability to damage and even kill it. And also, throw ability can just destroy the imp portal, like, pretty easily. It doesn't have a whole lot of power on other enemies, though. But there are some real good applications for the throw. And, you know, that is why I will say TAC-2, the best improvement it could have made over the first one, I'd say, is the, the combat. Because in the first game, as much as I love the first game, the combat in the first game is kind of eh, when, you're, when you don't have the juju power-ups. But yeah, um, that being said, we just are done with the first level. Once we go through the Rift, we, we go back to the real world, and we get to do the next part. So, I'll see you all next time on Tac 2, the Staff of Dreams, when we go back to the real world. I'll see you all then. Adios, home slices.